And uh, there's two things here that we have to consider. Uh, one is mixer tracks versus, versus playlist tracks. And uh, I'm going to try to explain how to do that. First, I want to show you how to actually export stems. And then I'm going to break down what is the mixer tracks versus the playlist tracks, because there's very different uh, things. So let's jump into FL Studio. And um, if we look at the playlist, we have these tracks here. And as you can see, track two, track three, track four, and so on. So there's a unlimited number or 500 tracks, more than enough. And if we go to the mixer, then we also have, I think, 125 tracks. So as you can see, these are different tracks or inserts in this case. That's what, what they call them by default. So every time that we go here to the channel rack and we add, uh, let's go, let's bring the, the drums, the FPC. Let's say that... Um, I want to make a drum pattern. Let's do something very quickly here, or very quick. Just a simple, simple drum pattern, nothing too crazy. Just to exemplify what I want. So we have this pattern here, very simple. If I go to the playlist and I put this on track one, if I play this, you see that it plays normally. Uh, but I could, for instance, put this on different tracks. So let's say that I can take the hi-hats and put the hi-hats on a new pattern. And then I could just have the hi-hats on the beat fifth for onwards. So I will start with the drums or kick and snare. And at this point, we have the hi-hats. I could do, I could break down also the kick and the snare here and have just uh, also that. But as you can see, now we are using two tracks, track one and track two. But if we go into the mixer and let's say that I put the FPC on track one. So now uh, this is the, the, the part where I want you to, to focus a little bit more. So if we think on track one and track two in the playlist, we have two tracks. And uh, if I play this, we have only one track here on the FPC or on the mixer. And when we have the hi-hats coming on track two, we still also only have one insert here in the mixer. So it's a, it's a very thing, uh, a distinctive thing. And that's why usually they call these tracks and they call these inserts because they are not the same. You can have, for instance, this here all, all over the place, like so. And uh, if I play this one, even though it's in track three, this will always be uh, playing on track one. So it's, it's important to understand this distinction here because this distinction can really help you when you are organizing your project or trying to export the project, the, the stems in this case. So what happens? Uh, let's say that I want to export just the, the, this one here, the drums. The drums, the, the kick and the snare. How could I do that? First of all, you could just solo this. Just solo this track and if I play this, you don't have the hi-hat. And then you would go to File, Export, select uh, a folder, let's say this one. And then you would uh, render render to untitled.wave because I didn't select the name. And you would go to Wave and you would just, normally you would have something like this. And you would just go and start the track. And then you would have just the track one exported. This could be one way. Uh, and then you would have to go to every single track that you have, solo that track, and then um, export everything into one single track. So you will have to go again to export, wave, select the name, put save, and then put wave, and then start the process. So if you have like 20 tracks, you have to do this 20 times. Uh, uh, a, an easier way to export the stems 
is to go through the, as we've seen here, let's go, we have these split mixer tracks. This is a very cool, cool feature that we have here in miscellaneous. And whenever we enable this, what happens is that FL Studio is going to break down every single mixer insert in the mixer and is going to export a single wave file for every single channel. So let's say in this case I have a kick, snare and the hi-hats. But now I want to separate this one as kick and hi-hat, kick and snare, sorry, and then hi-hat. How could I do this into the playlist or here into the FPC? It's very simple. Uh, the easiest way would be to duplicate this, duplicate the FPC and put the hi-hats on a different instance of the FPC and then put the second uh, instance of the FPC in a single ch in a different channel. Then I would have kick and snare and then I would have hi-hats. Now, if I go and play this from here onwards, you see that we have hi-hats and we have kick and snare. So if I were to export these ones here, I would go here, export, wave. Uh, let's put this, uh, we can leave it there. Let's say, uh, let's do test or stamps. Let's do stamps, the name of the audio tracks. And as you can see, it's going to render to stamps.wave. But now because I have this split mixer tracks, uh, what is going to happen is that if I export this, if I go to that folder where I had the project open, let me just open it quickly. What happens is that now we see that I have one, two, three, four um, wave files. So we have the current, we have the hi-hat, kick, snare, and the master. So the master and the current, this is something that happens when you export the um, the... Um, when you go to export and split mixer tracks, what happens is that it's going to also export the master and the selected channel. So if you have this channel here, this is the selection that you have. Whenever you export, you will get, you will get the current as this one here. So I usually just go and delete the current and the master. And then I have two other stems. And if I bring these ones here, you see that now I have only kick and snare. And then I have one only with the hi-hats. And if I combine both, it's the same as this one's here. So this is the way I usually like to export stamps. It's just I go to the... Um, I go to every single instrument on my channel rack or audio clip or whatever or plugin and I, what I do, let me just delete this so that is not confusing. I go into every single channel. If I have like a, an FPC with several instruments, I break down and I just uh, copy or create a duplicate instance of this case, in this case of the FPC. And then I move the, the MIDI around to have a single instance of the FPC. And then I go and I change the insert here, the target mixer track and then I go and I make sure that every single instrument that I have in my channel rack has an insert here and I usually like to name things so that whenever they export it exports with uh, let's say stems underscore and the name of the the mixer track here so it's a little bit um, you have to understand what you are doing in this case and you have to understand the distinction between mixer tracks and playlist tracks, which are, they are different. You might have a sound here that you want to separate, but if you don't have a specific, uh, that sound assigned to a single track here, then you you might have issues when exporting the, the sounds, unless you just go and you do something like this, where you solo that single track and export the track uh, as a uh, WAV file. But again, if you have like, uh, 20 tracks, 25, 50 tracks, then you have to do this 50 times. And as you've seen, if we do it here in the mixer, you just name everything 
Uh, and with that, you also have a little bit more uh, organization inside of your project. But at the same time, it's easier when you want to export things. So I think that helped. I, I hope that helped and that answered the question. Uh, so understanding the difference between playlist tracks and mixer tracks is very important for these type of things when you want to export the stems of your project. And I do this all the time because I usually produce on FL Studio and then I mix on Studio One, but then I master on FL Studio. So I'm always jumping between DAWs to, to get the best out of the, the, the things that are, or the DAWs, the software that I'm using, because I really don't like FL Studio for mixing. I don't know why. It's my favorite DAW for music production, for putting it ideas down. Uh, to have uh, to work with MIDI. I really enjoy the tools that FL Studio has and I'm very fast when it comes to making beats in FL Studio or making music in FL Studio. But then when it comes to mixing, I really don't like the way FL Studio works. Because have you, as, as you've seen, the playlist tracks and the mixer tracks are not the same. And uh, that can bring a little bit of confusion. For instance, if I show you here Studio One, uh, you see that... Uh, a track here is named kick and is the same here kick so every single track has um uh, an association with the playlist here or the the timeline and the mixer so there's a one to one mapping of the mixer uh, of what you see here in the um, in the edit section and or the playlist section or timeline section i don't know how they call it and also on the mix um, page. So there's a one-to-one -one relationship. In FL Studio, there is not a one-to-one -one relationship between the playlist tracks and the mixer tracks. So that's why I think it's a little bit confusing for me at least to mix in FL Studio. I don't like it. Uh, and uh, that's why I jump in between DAWs. Uh, but again, FL Studio is still uh, my best tool for, for making beats.